movement and immunability is complement each other. I've showed you how you can improve your aim. So, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can up your movement game in Blood Strike. Before we get started, please make sure to drop a like on the video. Firstly, I'm going to be showing you the right settings to use so you won't have any issues replicating the movement I'm about to show you. Go to the movement settings on that gameplay tab, joystick auto run on, auto sprint on, crouch mode tab, running interrupts crouching on, auto jump over off, rotate camera with jump button off, rotate camera with crouch button off. The main goal of having a fire movement in blood strike is to make you a difficult target to hit. Aim assist is OP, but it only works on you effectively if you are standing still. This is the part where movement comes in. We are going to start from simple movements like slide cancelling, bunny open and strafing to advanced movements like backward slide, quick jiggle and more. Starting with slide cancelling which is one of the most important movements to learn. You can do this by just tapping on your crouch button while sliding. This can be used to pick out of corners perfectly and change directions before your enemy even realizes. Mastering slide cancelling will make your movements difficult to predict and to prevent you from bumping into walls and door frames when you are trying to navigate the map. As you can see how easy it is for me to navigate around this house without bumping into any door frames or walls. If you are enjoying the video, please make sure to hit the sub button. Have you ever met that one annoying player that hops around and are almost impossible to eat? This is a movement called bunny hopping. This is what bunny hopping looks like. As you can see, I'm having a difficult time aiming down on this guy. This is why this movement is very effective. It's very easy and all, but people still get it wrong. All you need to do is slide jump. I see a lot of people do it by just spamming the jump button. That's not bunny hopping. Sliding after the first jump will prevent you from losing momentum and it's almost infinite. Bunny hopping is most effective if you do it while aim firing with an SMG or a shotgun. Bunny hopping is the fastest way to move in blood strike. So remember this movement when you are trying to escape a difficult situation. Strafing, which is another movement that is relatively easy to perform, is when you move side to side while keeping your crosshair placed on your targets like so. Doing this while ADSing increases your bullet accuracy like crazy. If you do this while hip firing like this, you will be a very difficult target for the enemy to lock onto. In case you don't know how I'm doing this, it's just by moving my joystick side to side while hip firing. Merging this trophy with regular jump gives you more chance of getting a shot as your crosshair is going to align with the opponent's head when you jump. Sliding out when an opponent is holding a corner is a very effective movement. As you can see, the way this guy took a slide out of this corner caught me off guard and if I wasn't fast enough, it would have got me killed. We've talked about simple movements, now it's time to move to the more complex movements. Firstly, we have backward slide. Which is quite difficult if you are trying it out for the first time but trust me, this movement will leave your enemies in shock. As the name implies, you slide backward. I mostly use this when I need clearance to be able to aim down sight at my opponent because aiming down at your opponent while they are running all over your face is very hard and annoying. Now I'm going to show you how to perform a backward slide correctly. Run towards your target, take a swift short look at the far right, look back immediately, then tap the slide button. Then you have to move your joystick like you are writing the number 7. A lot of steps for what happens in less than a second. That's why this movement is advanced, but with enough practice, you should be able to get it. When you switch weapons and blood strike, you get a boost in movement. This boost can be paired with various movements to produce sweaty moves. It can be paired with bunny hopping to make it even faster. Using this weapon switch boost with backward slide makes it even swift and faster. Switching weapon traditionally by tapping the weapon slots won't give you this effect. You need to use this weapon switch button so you can switch weapons as fast as possible and you get the boost. Moving on we have quick jiggle. This is what this movement looks like and you've probably seen it and this is mostly for flexing on your enemy. I personally use it to allow my opponents to empty their entire mag before engaging. So basically it makes you almost impossible to eat. To do this all you need to do is move your joystick like this look to your far left and right while switching your weapon honestly it's very difficult to master if you are limited with the numbers of fingers you play with so 
just leave this one for the sweats but if you are up for the challenge learn it moving doesn't only base on how fancy and quick you move incredible map and terrain knowledge is very important and the only way to get this is by playing regularly most of the clips you are watching are from my live streams so make sure to turn on that notification and subscribe so you won't miss any thank you very much for watching peace out